Hi. We are riding along. I'm not even sure what it's officially known as, but a friend of mine here refers to it as the river wall. This is the Garonne River on the left. And we are heading towards Old Toulouse, where our tour will continue. We are now heading towards the Pont Saint-Pierre, or the Saint-Pierre Bridge, which for most of the year is strictly pedestrian and cyclists. So, I'm just going to let it roll for a bit here. So you can uh, appreciate the leisure. And I don't have to watch out for traffic too much. Except for the occasional crazy scooter. And as you'll see here, a lot of deliveries get done on bike in Toulouse, especially in the old part of the city, which is definitely not now and never was car friendly. The streets are really narrow and and go in crazy directions. Anyway, so I'm just gonna shut up for a bit and you can enjoy the view as we head to Old Toulouse. The foot of uh, Pont Saint Pierre uh, on the old Toulouse side, which is where we are now, is the Place Saint Pierre, which is a large square overlooking the river. And uh, as you can see, it's quite quite beautiful. And if you look at all those plane trees lining the river wall on this side, uh, if you keep going straight that way, you will end up on I think it's called Place de la Dorade and uh, that's uh, another uh, beautiful part of the old city which we will see and also getting right down on the river so this is the lower part of the the walls around that garden and as you can see you can walk out here a lot of people picnic here during the daytime and at night when there's festivities going on this is often packed with people as it will be every time there's a rugby game for example. As we walk towards Place de la Dorade, this is uh, the Pont Neuf, uh, which uh, ironically is one of the oldest bridges in Toulouse. Uh, some people think it means uh, bridge number nine, but uh, nope, it's the new bridge. And those holes that you see in the arches there was deliberately constructed that way because uh, the river, when it starts flooding, and it, as it does every 15 years or so, major floods, uh, this prevented pressure from building up on the arches of the of the bridge and taking the bridge down, which has happened quite a few times in the past. I think two or three times to the Saint Pierre Bridge over there. So this is the Baladin. It's one of the, the bateaux to the Seine, uh, and basically what they do is they do a tour of the Garonne River and then they go into through the locks to the Canal de Briare uh, which is uh, quite a beautiful little trip in itself uh, and then they do a Yui and they come back out again. And look 
out over the river. You see that boat on the other side? If you look to the left of it, that's one of the old, that's the pier that's left of the Pont de la Durade, which uh, kept getting wiped, wiped out apparently in, in floods. And after the Pont Neuf was built, they stopped trying to rebuild it. So that's all that's left of it. So, and this is the main chapel. As you can see, pretty impressive. Apparently, the cloister is closed today. That would be that door over there. If that's the case, that's really unfortunate because it's supposed to be simply amazing uh, at a major part of this. Fortunately, I was misinformed and was able to get in to see the cloister for only three euros. Uh, it is quite beautiful in here. See these sculptures at the, at the top, these carvings at the top of each one of the, the pedestals. Uh, this is kind of typical of cloisters. Uh, there's one at the Abbey Saint-Pierre in Moissac, where the columns are much higher. Uh, but you got to keep in mind that this uh, institution was uh, it's, uh, repurposed on uh, many occasions <laughs> over the years, especially after the French Revolution, and occupied at one point by Napoleon's army, and, and then uh, given over to different civil kind of operations, and then finally its uh, historic and heritage value was recognized and uh, it was restored to a lot of its uh, original beauty. You can see here uh, the capitals, which are the you know, carvings on the top of the, the columns, uh, came from all kinds of different sources. Some of the originals were there, but not too many. Uh, that would be the ones in the light brown. Uh, the darker brown were completely new. And the green ones were uh, taken from other local churches that were similar style. There are several stations uh, where you can get uh, uh, expert interpretations, uh, explanations of different renovations that they did, uh, whether it's to the art or to the, the building itself or to the, the capitals and the recreation of the cloister. Uh, they're all pretty informative, but they're in French only. Uh, you can, however, get English subtitles on them, as you can see here.
always find the inside of churches, with, whether uh, moderate or ancient, actually kind of uh, depressing. <laughs> Uh, I love the open space here and the, the architecture and the strength and the simplicity. This is one of my favorite things to do in Toulouse, traveling along the canals, either the Canal de Brienne or the Canal de Bézy. As you can see, it's, you know, even on a really hot day, it's beautifully shaded. Uh, it's uh, just a very nice ride. Uh, I'm going to be, and right now, this is the Canal de Brienne. I'm going to be connecting to the Canal de Midzi, and then I'm going to take it, be taking it back towards the uh, Matabio uh, train station and bus station. So uh, I'm probably going to do a few more clips on the route uh, but uh, right now I gotta get back to concentrating on riding the bike and not riding it right into the canal. Just turned a corner over here that's actually the embouchure that's where the Canal de Midi, Canal de Terra de la Garonne and the Canal de Brienne all connect up together that's the entranceway to the Canal de Midi, which I'm connecting to now, and I'm going to be heading down this way. I have a switch to the opposite side of the canal now, uh, where the path is a bit larger and paved. Uh, it's still a mix. It's always a mix of pedestrian and and bike and scooter traffic on these uh, on these paths, uh, but. Uh, this is clearly a smoother route. And it's kind of bare and industrial on the other side, actually. So this is also the more interesting route. On your left is the headquarters of the Toulouse police. So, uh, you know, if something bad happens to you, or you go there. If you do something bad to someone else, you might end up there. So try to avoid this place if you can. There's one of the still operating locks. And I think they're... Oh, I'm not sure if they're doing a transfer operation right now. Anyway, we're not going to see much. We're going As I may have mentioned, there's a little, there's a little bit of boat traffic on the canal, not a lot. Uh, there's a few cruises, maybe a handful of cruise boats, and then uh, there are some pleasure cruisers, private boats that ply the locks along the both the Midi and the, the Garonne canals, and here's one right now. And since it's going to be passing through a couple of locks, maybe I will stop and capture that for you. I'm descended from my bike now. I'm at the corner of uh, Meta Bio and uh, Train Station Road, whatever that is. Anyway, uh, you can rent the bikes here if you decide not to go with the. And they've got tandem bikes and everything. If you decide not to go with the city's Vado uh, Toulouse. Oh, there's our boat capture it at the lock and uh, so I'll, well, okay, first I'm going to point out, this is the bus station, which is right next door, the train station, which you can see a little bit farther down the road, uh, and I'll show you that in a bit more detail in a few minutes.
think that they're not quite clear where the closed door button is. That beautiful building in the background is the Toulouse train station. 
a major transportation hub uh, both for uh, national or European rail and commuter rail and everything else. Hugely busy. And it's also where the metro station is. Voyage. Well,